We're going to paint it custodies and make it look like it's under a black light. And this whole video, I am not going to make a single banana joke. And hopefully that's appealing. Damn it! I knew it was going to be hard because I have a bunch. Damn it! If you've seen the channel before, you know I do a lot of synthwave aesthetic paint schemes. And being on YouTube and every other social media platform, links in the description. It means I get a lot of inboxes every time somebody posts something that's very, very similar. And most recently, I actually got a message from one of our awesome Patreons, Chance, who had found a picture of rape-inspired custodies on Reddit. And with that picture came a question. How would I paint this? Starting from a black primer, first step is we're gonna take some blue and we're gonna dry brush it. This is just a cheap makeup brush. And we're gonna wet the bristles, but not that much. Just a little bit, just so it's damp. The reason a lot of dry brushing leaves a very dusty kind of texture and feel behind it is because you've taken all the moisture out of the paint. So I like to start with a little bit of moisture in there. Now we're gonna take that same blue and very, very thinly, we're gonna start applying it to all the trim and all the little bits and pieces of the armor. Mixing a little bit of Vallejo's Emerald Green, we're gonna mix that into the blue and same thing, we're gonna start pushing towards the highlights. We're going for a black light inspired piece here. Now, that means we want a lot of blues, a lot of greens, and a lot of magentas really popping out and very solid colors. There's not a lot of gradients and transitions when you go into black lights. With that pure emerald green, we're going to pick out some of the edges, not everything. And we just want to give that green glow in a lot of places, so there's going to be a lot of reflections, a lot of bounce lights. Moving straight into purple, we're going to start to pick out all the details and the fancy little pieces that you'll find all over these models. With a little bit of magenta mixed into our purple, we're going to pick some pretty odd spots to start highlighting. And you'll see what I mean as we kind of go lighter and brighter here. This isn't quite a pure magenta, it still has a little bit of that purple mix and what we're doing is, think of it as a reverse highlight. We are highlighting and going brighter the further down the model we go physically. But other areas, we're just going to do traditionally. Now we're onto a pure magenta and you can see it really, really start to pop. We're going to pick out a lot of the areas that got the lighter purples and the magenta mix in there to really start to bring out the feel of a black light. And then we're going to add a little bit of bright pink in there right on the ends to give it that super shine and the blurrier you can get this picture, the better. We lost a little bit of footage with the spear but I want you to take note of the transparency and the coverage that we're not getting with the blue. We want it that little bit PC. This is where our glow effect's gonna come from and this makes it really, really easy. And same thing, I'm going backwards. Instead of highlighting towards the edge, I'm highlighting from the middle. For the robes, we're just gonna start from our black base and use a very, very thin downed uh, blue. This is the same blue that we've been using for the entire model. You can see it's pretty stark, but when it dries, it will kind of uh, settle down a little. Now, I've just mixed a little magenta into this blue, and same thing, very thin. We're going to move up and up and up, and a little bit more magenta just to pick out the highlights. Again, we don't want to go to pure magenta for this part. We want to see the row, but we don't want it to stick out, and it's the same for these little tassel bits. It's just purple with a little bit of kind of an overbrush of pink. The belts and straps got the same treatment with just that little bit of glazing of the blue and a little bit of that mix of the magenta into the blue. Now, we didn't use the standard GW base. I actually took one from the Star Wars Shatterpoint kit and I thought it was really cool. And AK Interactive also sent over a bunch of their deep shades, which were amazing. I absolutely love this. Now, this is the white deep shade 
just a little bit of capillary action into those crevices, uh, putting in a little bit thicker. Now, I did have to get a couple of coats of this. I don't think this is how you're supposed to use it, but I did. And then, of course, we took AK Interactive's fluorescent paints. These things are bussin'. These absolutely popped, and I loved them. I can't wait to do more with them. Massive thank you to InGames being this week's sponsor. Now, let's check out our Rave Stogies. Now, I'm a little bit biased, but I think this one came out pretty cool. And if you tried this one at home, I would love to see it. You can post photos on all of our social medias. You can inbox me if you want. You can even join the Discord where there is a link in the description. But just like a banana baby, I got a split. <laughs> 